Hello everyone, this is Ankita and today I am going to show you what do you see when you join the team for the very first time. So here is my screen and here you can see that there is a very interesting looking graphic here which says that bring your team together and that is for creating a collaborative workspace for your team and lets anybody join it. I would like to mention here that team is available uh, freely for an organization for up to 250 members. So you can uh, join the team right away and this would provide a collaborative workspace for your team and would let anybody join it or you can have the teams private. Uh, you can have the channels which uh, for organizing activity by topic area or anything that suits you. So this is just a brief introduction of what all is possible in teams here as it says that you can have chat one to one or with groups uh, where you can share ideas in open team conversations or chat privately with anyone in this organization. Um, read files in chats, share your own files in the channels. Here uh, again something else I would like to mention that as an administrator you can um, set do the settings if you would like to restrict the one-on-one -on -one conversations within our team. Then you can connect through the online meetings. Uh, these meetings can be the scheduled meetings or you can have the impromptu public meeting in any channel or you can have the video audio calls with one of the member or the entire team. And the interesting part about this is that all these sessions can be recorded and once uh, the meeting completes those recordings automatically go into the app called stream as well as for each of those call recordings the transcript gets created on its own next uh, you have got the files notes apps and more all in one place so all your team's tools are organized and integrated together so you need not to jump across different tools, different apps in order to have uh, the access to all the information which lies out there. Next is that this is what it is, Microsoft Teams. So it shows play video in case you would want to go and see how it works or we can simply choose to go and see how it works. So here you can see um, that it is giving me the option of scanning this QR code and installing the Teams mobile app, which by the way is a great app and you can find more videos on regarding mobile, Teams mobile app on our channel Photon Academy. And uh, after that, it gives me the pointers from where you I can start. And here on the left side, you can see a couple of options. For example, activity, chat, teams, meetings, calls, files. So in the coming videos, we'll one by one go into all of these options. We'll explore the recent chats here. Right now you are seeing the blank uh, side where the recent chats are there and contacts is uh, also that way they are saying that they are importing from the Skype for business contact groups here as well. And the activities are null because we have just logged in into the teams for the very first time. It gives me the option of uh, joining the team for the very first time and here you can see that there is a public team called induction um, which I can open and join. It gives me the option of joining this team. We will be covering this part in the upcoming videos. Then you have got the meetings and as I don't have any meetings scheduled, I am not seeing anything here. Then calls, I can make a call. You can see that option of adding somebody to speed dial or creating a new group here. Contacts, I don't have any contacts. I am joining for the first time. The user is basically new here. So there is no contacts added, no history as well. And files, you can see that nothing is added on files. So uh, it shows me nothing, of course. Uh, all these files can be managed here, OneDrive files can be managed here. Uh, the downloads, uh, whatever downloads I would have, I'll be making the downloads to Teams, they would be visible here. Uh, again, all the files, active files which are there from my team and what on the files on which anybody from the team is working on would be visible here and the recent files. So as I mentioned, one by one we'll be getting into the details of these um, here and all the more apps which the teams is talking about how does it work 
uh, what kind of searching can happen so stay tuned for the next set of videos and let's get into the journey of becoming teams efficient with office 365 thank you for watching this video i hope you uh, learned something from this video and we would keep seeing you coming back often on photon academy